Welcome to Douglas County News Exchange. I'm your host, Lena Hardy. The glass slipper wasn't left at the 2019 Fairy Princess Ball last month, but the event left smiles on each young girl's face as they put on their favorite dress or costume to be a princess for the night. The father-daughter dance was a massive hit at Deer Lake Park. If you missed all of the fun this year, be sure to attend next year. For more events sponsored by our Parks and Recreations Department, go to DouglasCountyParks.com. Middle schoolers took over the Douglas County Courthouse art gallery to showcase and discuss their art over a cup of popcorn, or in most cases, multiple cups of popcorn. Communications Director Rick Martin briefly spoke with two teachers from Chapel Hill Middle School about their experience. Hey everyone, I'm here at the Courthouse Art Gallery uh, where I have the honor of being with Ms. Chambers and Ms. Abrahimi, who are really um, some of the um, individuals behind the scenes here. We're at Middle School Mania, an awesome experience to showcase the artwork of middle school students in Douglas County. Ms. Chambers, tell yeah. me a little bit about what you experienced. I saw so many people. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel really proud. I mean, because we put a lot of work into this. We want the kids to come. We want their parents to come and see what it is that we do in our art programs. Wow, that's awesome. Miss 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 Ibrahimi, tell me a little bit. What school are you guys? We are from you? Chapel Hill Middle School. <laughs> Both of us. Chapel Hill Middle yes. School in the house. That's right. <laughs> tell me about the experience of these students. How they feel what it does to showcase their work for Douglas County. Coming here is really different because working on it in the classroom is one thing, but then coming and seeing the other schools at the same exact time, it's kind of an experience where they all get to bond together. It's just totally different. In the classroom, they don't get the exposure as much as they do here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they art, really art is a kind of, like it's very individual when you make the art, and so to put it in public display for others yeah. to see, it brings a whole new dimension to it because the child gets to see other people looking at their artwork and thinking about their artwork, and it gives them a great sense of pride. And some awesome. people ask about it too, so then they're forced to kind of talk about their artwork too, which is nice. Okay, yeah. well, great. Well, ladies, thank you so much for sharing that with me and sure. sharing what's going sure. on and sharing with our community in Douglas County. <laughs> That's all from here. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. The month of February kicked off Parental Accountability Corp. The event was hosted by Douglas County Superior Court Judge Cynthia C. Adams and Juvenile Court Judge Michelle Harrison. The program is a joint effort by the Georgia Department of Human Services, Division of Child Support Services, and Superior Court Judges to offer an alternative to incarceration and to help non-payers of child support make regular payments. It is intended to build, rebuild families and their lives. Changes are coming to the Douglas County Courthouse. The construction project to reconfigure the front entrance for security purposes is currently underway. Due to the construction, the front entrance is sealed off. Everyone from employees to the public must use the Liberty and Truth doors to enter and exit until the project is completed, which is estimated for June of this year for phase one. Now with our education update, we welcome to the studio Douglas County School System Communications Director, Portia Lake. Burnett Elementary School hopes that by introducing community leaders to the classroom, they will inspire students with the love of reading. Real Men Read kicked off at Burnett with community volunteers going back to school. Businessmen and business leaders from all over Douglas County delighted students by sharing a reading from their favorite book. Superintendent Trent North and Executive Director of Technology Todd Hindman entertained eager students with a book and discussion about the impact that reading has made on their lives and careers. Superintendent North and Principal Dr. Keisha Thompson say Real Men Read is a wonderful way for the community to come together and share their love of reading with students and to get them excited about reading. 
Factory Shoals Middle School ended a month of Black History Month celebrations with a special program acknowledging the contributions of African Americans. This year's theme, A Vision of Greatness, allowed students the opportunity to showcase special readings, dances, and Black History moments with fellow classmates. The Factory Shoals chorus and the band's performances all set the stage for an exciting afternoon of music and education. The Magnificent Steppers then dazzled the crowd with double performances designed to get the audience up and dancing on their feet. Model, actress, and radio host Shay Davis, also known as Runway Diva Shay, later wowed students with an important lesson about never giving up. Davis has appeared on reality shows and also worked runways around the world, and she was there to motivate the students and teach them how to make every day a day to achieve greatness. And by the end of the program, every student had their own vision of greatness and success, and they had a plan to ensure this lifetime of success. Speaking of Douglas County students, they may be interested in attending the CAC's Mad Hatter's Tea Party. The event will take place on March 16th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Cultural Arts Center. There will be fun activities for all ages to enjoy. Tickets are $10 per person, and you can purchase your ticket today at artsdouglas.org. March is National Women's History Month, a month reserved for the celebration of the achievements women have made to society. The Douglas County Chamber is hosting the 2019 women's event, Celebrate You. The event will feature an interactive business showcase, VIP meet and greet, two dynamic speakers, and so much more. The welcome will be done by three female leaders of our community, which includes Douglas County Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. Here's a short promo with the chairman on her expectations for the event. Wow, I'm so excited about our Women's History Month here in Douglas County, and I welcome and invite all the women in the world to please uh, come and, and spend some time with us on March 7th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. As, as a business showcase transpires at the Epic Center. And guess what? We'll have Jen Hatmaker. I am so excited. And, what a, and also LaDitra White. These great women will make a difference in the lives of everyone that attend that night. They have some great information for us. They will energize us and make us feel great as women. So I look forward to seeing you there soon. Coming up in April, mark your calendar for the fourth annual Spay and Neuter fundraiser happening on April 13th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. You can find further details on Facebook by searching for Douglas County Humane Society. That's our show for this month. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of our programming on DCTV 23. You can find us on Comcast Channel 23, AT&T UVerse Channel 99, and online at DCTV23.com. We end our show with a monthly birthday celebration for seniors at the Woody Fight Senior Center. See you next time. I want to welcome you to the March birthday for the Woody Fight Senior Center and say a big happy birthday from myself and all of my staff. Uh, we also have with us a very special guest who is also a March birthday baby, okay? Hers is on the 10th. This is Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. She is our chairperson for our county commission. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello, seniors. This is a great day for all of us. Yes. So tell yourself, thank you, Lord, for letting me That's be right. here. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made, and on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, we are so pleased and so excited to celebrate your birthday. So happy birthday, March babies. We, you know how we are, we, we just like the wind. We change from one moment to the next, but we are very great people. And I'm so excited to celebrate my birthday with you. So again, on behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, happy, happy birthday. This, I'm Marion Langley and, uh, um, uh, born, was born in Atlanta, Georgia on March the 17th, 1935. I'll be 84 and I've been coming to the center ever since it's been open and I very much enjoy the classes 
but most of all the fellowship of all the people that I have met here. And uh, this lady here, she does a great job. She yes. keeps us straight. Oh, oh yes. thank you so much. I do appreciate that. We try. We try. Okay. Happy birthday. Uh, Rapper Al <clears throat> Rickman, Columbia, Georgia. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 3 15 38. Happy 81. All right. All right. Happy birthday. We got a lot of <coughs> people in here in the 80s. Okay, sir. I'm John King. Uh, I'm, I was born March 17th also in Atlanta, Georgia, and um, I'm 67. And today's my first day actually uh, joining the Woody Fight Center. Looking forward to all the things the center well, offers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. I'll start off with a bang. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. started off with a party for you. I'm Joan Dermatis. Uh, my birthday is March 6th. I will be 87. And I was born in Irvington, New Jersey, uh, which isn't quite international, <laughs> but it, it's different. <laughs> and uh, I, I think this is the most wonderful senior center that I've ever heard of or been to. And uh, it, it gets a top A plus rating. Thank you so much. I will have Thank to tell you. you a little something about her. She, we see her only a few months out of the year. She has a daughter that is in Douglas Rehab out here on Highway in 5. In the nursing home. In the nursing yeah. home, right. And she comes down every so often and spends a couple of weeks or a couple of months with her. And we're glad to have her down here. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, okay. okay my name is Viora Sprong. I was born in Jamaica, West Indies. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm 74. I'll be 74 on March 6th, March 19th. March 19th. Okay. All right. well, happy birthday. Happy, man. happy birthday happy there. Birthday. I love okay, I know this lady oh. too. <laughs> Hi, my name is Julia Ben, and I was born in Coatesville, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And on March the 25th, I will be 71. Oh, All right. Happy birthday. Okay. Happy, happy birthday. Looking, happy birthday. Looking good. And <clears throat> I'm Cheryl Morris. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia on March the 4th, and I will be 61. All right. Okay. Happy birthday. Got several Atlanta, Georgia people. Hi. My name is Cassandra Taylor. I was mm -hmm. born in Atlanta, Georgia. On my birthday, March 10th, I will be 69. Happy okay, birthday, happy March birthday. 10th. And we did get our international flavor here today. <laughs> we so sure we're did. We're glad for that. My name is Helen Conaway. I was born on March 12th. I'll be 73. I was born in Clifton Springs, New York. Okay. Right. Clifton. I knew we had an accent in there, honey. Oh, so. Yes. <laughs> happy birthday. Of course I did. That's right. <laughs> My name is Brenda Spinks. I was born on March the 28th. I was born in a little bitty town in South Georgia. And I will be 78 on my birthday. All right. Happy birthday. 78. OK. <laughs> I'm Damon Stitcher. I was born in Carroll County, Georgia. And today's my birthday, 3 one 1951. All happy right, well, double birthday. happy birthday Thank here. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Right. Thank you. My name is Mononia Glass. I was um, born in Brandon, Mississippi. Yes, and yes. my birthday is the 22nd, and I'll be 69. OK, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. You must be the other person, right? That goes in that family. Okay, I, can't, I can't put you on film today. <laughs> <laughs> you got me on film, so I know. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sheila Chisholm. My birthday is March 1st, 1958. I was born right here in good old Douglasville, Georgia, Happy on Fabron Road. Uh -huh. um, that's right, where the Douglas Senior Services right. is now. That's right. You know, it, I, it, every time I go by that building, mm -hmm. I realize I have a number of members who were actually born in that bi building. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay. Good day. My name is Julia Fraser. 
I was born in Curaçao, the Netherlands. And on March 13th, I'll be 76 years old. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Yes. Yes. We'll be in, be in uh, international here. And wait, give me that again where you were born. Curacao, Curacao, in the Netherlands. Okay. Yes. Netherlands. All, right. All right, happy birthday. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, I'm Esther Wright. I'm an African. I came from West Africa, wow. Sierra Leone. Yes. And I'm 72 years. My birthday is the 25th of March. Yes, happy birthday. We really went in yeah. Yeah. Siri, uh -huh. I love your top. It's beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Loretta McCain. Uh, my birthday is today, March 1st. Happy I'm 73 birthday. years old, and I was born in Chicago, Illinois. All okay. Right. Very Chicago good. Cubs. All right. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> she got it on there. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, Mr. Don. Hey, how are you doing? My name is Don Long. I was born in Terre Haute, Indiana in 1947. And I, my birthday is the 5th of March. The 5th of March. Yeah, happy okay. birthday. Very good. All right. So, I'm going to walk around you, dear. Hi. Hi. My name is Dorothy Banks. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, new to Douglasville. I really like it here. Um, I really you. do. I really like it here. My birthday is March the 31st, and I'll be 63. All okay, right. very Happy good. Birthday. We hope that Woody Fight is part of that you like in Douglasville. Yes, I love it here. Good. Good. <laughs> All right, Miss Helen. Thank you. I am Helen Wilbanks. I was born on March 19th, 1938, and a little town called Homerville, Georgia, down in the Okie Pinocchio Swamp. <laughs> My husband always told people he took the girl out of the swamp, but he couldn't take the swamp out of the girl. Oh, <laughs> okay. that's sweet. That's sweet. My name is Lola Ray. I was born on March 13th, 1929. And I want to say that Woody Fight Senior Center has been a godsend for me. Amen. Okay, we do appreciate that. Yeah, I'll be 90 years old pretty soon. All right. Yay. Yay. All right. She look amazing. For those who can't count. Yes. <laughs> she also plays chip poker very well. Yes, okay. she does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, did we miss anyone? I hope not. All right, it's time to sing, folks. So join right in. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday, dear Mark. Happy birthday to you and many more. All right. Okay. That's